Hey everyone, I just finished up my face shave. Uh, this, I'm not sure when this video is going to be posted, um, but I did use the absolutely fantastic Cooling Barbershop by WSP in their Rustic Formula. This is their vegan base, and I absolutely love the scent. Uh, the scent notes on this are, it starts off with a powdery musk. You get, there's berg, uh, bergamot, orange zest, oak moss, oak moss, patchouli, and then a hint of geranium. It is just an absolutely fantastic barbershop scent. If you've watched my face shave video with this, uh, it is a, I'm a big fan. The aftershave, and the, the soap itself is pretty cold. Um, the aftershave, oh man, it is, it's cold and it's gorgeous. Uh, so whipped up the leather in my fine accoutrements bowl. And once again, using the Smiles for Miles. This is the, I think you call this a vintage number four uh, with a uh, tuxedo knot. Not sure if this is a 24 or 26 millimeter, but we're gonna go ahead and get this lathered up. This was a fantastic head shave, or a face shave, excuse me. And I had lather left over, and uh, I can't waste WSP, man. I love WSP. It's one of my favorite origins. If you watch my video with the, or sort of the Highlander Challenge, you'll know it's one of my favorite artisans. And I love the product, I love the people. It's just, it's just great stuff, man. Can't waste it. It's four point, I wanna say 4.6 ounces, 4.4 ounces. Now some of their detractors will say, but it comes in metal tin, it's small. Yeah, it comes in metal tin, but this is great if you travel, put it in your dop kit, you have your full container. One of the things is as well, it's filled to the brim. I have scooped this out a little bit so I could use it, but it's full. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so you get, there's plenty of soap. I normally don't load up the puck with WSP anyway. I don't load the puck anyway. But, uh, so I don't have that issue. I just scoop out some, put it in a bowl and lather up, man. The eraser tonight is the Above the Tie Aluminum Calypso with the H plate. Uh, I learned after my last video with this, that H stands for heavy growth or heavy aggression. And that has a 0.91 millimeter blade gap. Now the marker of future has a 1.12 millimeter blade gap on setting one. The Gillette adjustables, the slim adjustable of the fat boy, have a 1.14 millimeter blade gap on setting nine. The Merker Future was my daily driver for a long time. And then I travel with the uh, the Ming Shi clone. I did head shaves, face shaves, all that with the Ming Shi. Came home, used the future. And then I got the game changer. Game changer's not that great of a head shaver for me. We're great on the face, not quite so much on the head. But this thing has, it's, it's efficient, not aggressive. I don't feel blade really on this. Has a little feedback to it, which is really nice. Just so I know that it is cutting something because I can't feel it. And it's just, oh, I love this razor. And I did look that um, above the tide does still have, or they have some bamboo handles in stock with this razor. 
and you can get different base plates. I don't recall off the top of my head what all of the blade gaps are, but they have a mild and then a medium. They have an M plate, which is mild, then an R, which is regular, and then the H, which is high or heavy. And it just, it works. It's a very lovely razor. Look at that. It takes it right off. Start the ring water. Forgot to fill up my sink. Oh. What? Ooh. Almost lost my brush. I've been bad. Very, very bad. I like this brush quite a bit. First time, no, oh, second time using this on video. First time was a face shave with this, the exact same setup. Different razor, of course. I used the Chevette on the face. Great thing with WSP is this can take a lot of water. I thought I had drowned this on my face shave, but I just worked a little bit and it was a, uh, a thinner, a very runny, not runny, but very wet lather, kind of like what Jeffrey Smith likes. Perfect for a Chevette. I thought I got myself down here when I was doing my approach. Because I was too busy talking and not paying attention to my angle. But there was no blood. And then here, using a very efficient razor in the above the tie. It's nice to have that slickness. Now, this razor does have a little bit of overhang under the top cap, but not much. And you have to really, really look for that overhang. It's barely noticeable. I've not had an issue with that. Doing any shave. But man, is this efficient like a pat. Look at all this stubble. Uh, if you if you do not follow one of my good friends, Marion the Barbarian, uh, he did a live head shave. He took off all of his hair in one of the Facebook groups. And the crazy bugger used a straight razor. Didn't cut himself at all, did a fantastic job actually. And uh, posted a video this week where he used uh, a leaf razor. And he cut himself on the side of his head and on the top. And I was talking to him afterwards, he's like, man, what the heck? You know, these aren't, he didn't say these exact words. Um, he's like, it's, you know, it's frustrating. I shaved my head with a stinking straight razor. And didn't cut myself. And I used a leaf. And I got weepers. I cut myself with the, with the leaf razor. And so, yeah, you know, it's, watch uh, CDB or anyone that uses the leaf. They will tell you it. It is very easy to cut yourself if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. It will bite. It can take some pressure because it has a flexible head. And people kind of assume it's like a cart. But the blades aren't flexible. It will bite you. I've been bitten a few times. CDB's been bitten. So has Chris Maiden. The leaf has its own learning curve. I don't know 
I just don't lather up. I don't need to. I have plenty of residual slickness with WSP. But Marion used the leaf and he did a pretty good job. Did a full head shave with it. And I have, he's using my leaf. I sent that to him uh, on loan. He told me he wanted to shave his head and wanted to give these a couple, couple things a try. I was like, hey man, I, I have this leaf. You know, my wife has one. If I really need to, I can always use hers to shave my head. But I really don't want to use a DE or SE or whatever. Here, I, mean, I gotta send your stuff back anyway. He has nothing, some soaps to use to try out. So I was sending that back and included a couple things for him and sent the leaf for him to try out. I think he's going to hopefully pass it on to someone else so their wife can try it out, try to get his wife, another a mutual friend of ours, try to get his wife involved in this crazy hobby we do. Or at least she's in something that's not a cart. But hey, if carts work for you, man, ain't no problem with that. Not an issue. I use the headlight on my occasionally, and that's a cartridge. I always don't get the best shoes with it, but it's not bad. I used to like the head blade a lot because I could just go into any store, you know, go to like Walgreens and buy your replacement heads for it. And it was perfect. I could do that easily. But now they've gone to online only. So I can't find them in the local drugstores anymore, which kind of stinks. To me, that's a huge selling point. If I needed, if I was running low or something, I just, if I was on the road, I'd just go and pick up a pack of their three blades or four blades that the store had and use those. Now, I'm, I have <laughs> the same blade on there. It's been on there for over a year because I didn't use it for the longest time. Mm, man, what a shave. So that was fantastic. Um, not quite BBS, but one of the best shades I've had in a long time with a DE razor. So to finish off, we're gonna go to the trusty PAA star jelly, mentholated. Going with the, uh, the cooling sensation of the soap, which was nice and chilly and it wasn't overly cold. Just had a nice, cooling effect to it. Nothing like, uh, nothing too overpowering. There's a nice cooling sensation to it. And because I love the scent, we're gonna match that off. We're going to finish that off with the matching aftershave splash, also in cooling. Don't need a ton for the head. Couple of drops, and we'll be good to go. Oh. So you may asking, you're a night shaver, man. How can you put stuff on your head? Because I love the scent, man. And WSP strong, strong. I mean, not like overpowering strong, but long lasting. I will be smelling this tomorrow when I'm getting ready to get in the shower. Oh. That cooling sensation on the head. It's hard to beat menthol on the head, man. So, that's fantastic. And this is, the splash is a lot colder than the soap. And that's how I like it. So as a recap, tonight I used the cooling barbershop from WSP, one of my absolute favorite artisans out there. If you haven't tried him, definitely highly recommend checking him out. Don't let the tins scare you away. They also have a new formulation of their creams, which I have not tried yet. That is on my list. Um, but I'll get those, get a cream up later on. With up everything in the fine accoutrements lather bowl with the red, kind of went with the red and blue theme as well with my brush, with the awesomely fantastic vintage number four from Smiles for Miles with a um, tuxedo knot in here. And the eraser 
was the aluminum above the tie Calypso plate H with, I think this is a Gillette Platinum, Gillette Platinum third use blade. So that is everything for tonight's shave, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, in my last video, I mentioned that there will be a giveaway. There is one coming shortly. Just waiting on, I'm working with the person that is helping with this. And we will, I will announce that hopefully fairly soon. So again, thank you for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys 